New York Times best-selling author and fitness expert Dr. Ian Smith is here with easy ways to get back to the basic when it comes to food and also physical activity. Welcome back to the show. Always good to be back to see you guys. So I cannot believe this. Book number 17, 17 for you. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. And when you get to book number 17, how do you set this one apart? <laughs> well, it's interesting. This may be the most effective of all my books. I'll tell you this. You take clean eating meets intermittent fasting. So clean eating is reducing processed ingredients in your foods. Intermittent fasting is a program where you have feeding windows alternating with fasting windows. So you go back and forth. Both programs by themselves are very effective, but in this case, one plus one doesn't equal two, it actually equals three, because the synergism is explosive. We have a Facebook group called Cleaner Get Leaner. The results have been amazing, up to 15 pounds in 30 days. Some lady from Canada lost 11 pounds in 13 days, but the people like it because it's flexible, the foods are easy, they're affordable, and when you do that intermittent fasting, you're driving your body into your fat stores. One thing about IF is it reduces belly fat. It's known for that. So that makes me a little nervous because intermittent fasting means you're taking, for how, what's the amount of time that we're not eating? That's right. So the book gives you different plans based on what you like. You can customize the entire book. So some people do 16 hours of feeding, eight hours of fasting, which basically is sleeping, or you can go to 14-12, or you can go to 12-12. So you decide what your feeding and fasting windows will be. Obviously, the more aggressive you are with your fasting window, the more you're going to lose, the more you're going to drive your body into your fat. Here's the idea. The idea is that when you're fasting, your body has no calories on board. Mm -hmm. So it has to go somewhere to get the energy. Where does it go? To your fat stores, because fat is the storage form of energy. So when you have that fasting period and you cannot break the fast, which means you can have some coffee with a little bit of milk, you can have some herbal tea and some water, but no real calories because you want to keep driving your body into those fat stores. There are a lot of different examples you have for us today. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah. I mean, so many things that people can eat, but there are a few no-nos on the list as well. Yes, there are some no's. So we don't want to drink soda. Even diet soda, because diet soda is 200 times sweeter, the sugar, than regular sugar, believe it or not. Uh, you also want to stay away from frying foods. So you can have some extra uh, virgin olive oil, but make sure you saute your foods. That's important. But there are a lot of good things. You can have canned fruits and vegetables as long as they're in their own juices. No um, preservatives added. No preservatives sure. added. Uh, and uh, what I like about it, the, about the program is that it's flexible. So yeah, you can have some pasta. It's got to be whole grain or whole wheat pasta. You can have bread, 100% whole grain or whole wheat. So we're taking things that typically you can't have on a program right. and just eating them in a healthier way. Away. Okay, well, let's look at breakfast Yeah, here. so all the meals are interchangeable in the book. So if you're a vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, you can make it work for you. This, for example, is one of the meals you could have. You could have, you know, an egg omelet uh, with some cheese, with some veggies in it, uh, a slice of whole grain or whole wheat toast, 100%, some turkey bacon. That is allowed on the program. So this is a, a very, very sizable breakfast. People will never complain about being hungry because there's a lot of food to eat. Uh, a salad is always easy to get anywhere you go these days. I always advise hey, do, do me a favor, put some protein on it. Mm -hmm. So some chicken or some fish is awesome. What about salad dressing, though? Because that people can run into a lot of calories. Yes, there. well, we're going to make one real fast. But uh, before we make one, uh, I want to show you dinner. So dinner, you can have uh, steak, if you want, with a nice little green garden salad. Or you can have salmon and some vegetables. As you can see, affordable, regular foods. People are probably already eating a lot of this already. Right. And you get to eat all this in that feeding window I talked about. So you get to eat all these foods. So you never go hungry. Right. In fact, some people say it's too much food. Well, it's a, it's a nice size portion. I think that's what happens when people are on the quote unquote diet. Yeah. That's right. That they, they are starving. And that's so right. you're not going to do that here. No. Now, here's a quick thing. So here's okay. a, a honey balsamic vinaigrette that's in the book. The recipe's in the book. It's, it's delicious. So you guys can mix it up. Okay. So we have one cup of extra virgin olive oil. Just kind of eyeball it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have a tablespoon of organic honey. Okay. Uh, then you have a quarter teaspoon of dry oregano, uh, and then a quarter teaspoon of white balsamic vinegar here, mm -hmm. like this. Ooh, well, that's a little more. Oh, no, that's okay. Uh, a little salt and pepper to taste. Derek, okay. get in the action. Yeah. Come on. All right. Okay. Uh, and then we have a little rosemary, a half a teaspoon of rosemary. Okay. Then you mix all that up. Now, what I did, you can have some basil if you want. Depends if you like. Some people don't like basil. You can mix that up. But it smells delicious. I, I made some already for you, so you can taste it. Okay. Just taste it. Um, has a little sweet kick to it. Um, oh, because of the honey. That's, that's right. Very nice. Oh, yeah. It's good, right? That goes on this? Yeah, so you drizzle on your salad, okay? And the key is this is a clean dressing. A lot of dressings you buy in stores, they say low fat, right. but they're high in sugar. Right. Yeah. They right. say no sugar, they're high in fat. Yeah. It takes three minutes to make these, put it in your refrigerator, you have it for a long time. Yeah, and you can even take that to work if you're going to plan on getting a salad later, have that with you because that's really the, the hidden calories Pe there. People mess up in the condiments. Like yeah. they, they, do, they eat nicely, then they dump it with creams and fats and calories. So in Clean and Lean, we say, hey, listen, we want to have these ingredients, but we want to make sure they're as clean as possible. Not perfect. This book doesn't ask you to eat perfectly. It gives you exercises, by the way. We'll do a little exercise later, right? Half yeah. of the book is exercise, but there are different tracks, beginners, intermediate, and advanced. And once again, in our Facebook group, 20,000 people have joined it.
get uh, cleaner, get leaner, and they all say that the plan is so customizable to who they are and what they want. Okay, we got to talk about alcohol very quickly. Yes. Allowed or not? Well, as a purist, no, for 30 days. But is a glass of red wine going to kill you? No, it's not going to kill you. But you need to do it during your feeding window. During your feeding window. So, for example, your feeding window could be 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. in the morning to 8 p.m. at night would be you eat all your meals. And then from uh, 8 at night to 10 in the morning is your fasting window. So if you're going to consume alcohol, do it during your feeding window. Okay. Very doable. Like I said, you can do all kinds of hours based on what you want to do. You can start, you know, conservative to be aggressive. But best to avoid that alcohol. In yes. General, folks. If you're a purist. If you're a purist. <laughs> yeah.